Holy Capricorns, well, your, welcome to your love reading for October 2021. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email or a DM and we can go ahead and set that up. Sorry, I'm just adjusting something right now. Um, yeah, so let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine God's Universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Capricorns, for love, for October 2021? What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to universe and closer to divine? When it comes to love for October 2021, what do you see? What do they need to know? Any messages, please? Okay, so for past energies, we have the Five of Pentacles in the reversed. What are the energies for October for love for Capricorns? Make sure you click on the Vimeo link below. Um, after this reading, it will tell you what your love interest is thinking or feeling. And in that spread, I'll also have if they are seeing somebody else and something you do not know about them. Ooh. Energies for October is the Eight of Swords in reverse. Wow, you guys are really releasing yourself from something, huh? Um, what are the energies for Capricorn as they move forward after, I mean, move out of October? Card, please, for October. Moving out of October. Other things to mention, I am putting up my 2022 Sun Moon readings. Make sure you put your requests in the comments. Yes, I do note your uh, requests. I know it's taken a long time, but while you're waiting for those, check out my 2021 Sun Moon readings that are still in my playlist. See if they rang true for you. And we end on the Ten of Pentacles in the upright. Huh. <laughs> All right, so generally what I'm kind of getting out of this, oh, also, I always forget to say stuff. Um, check me out on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, like, share, subscribe, or donate. So the reason why I said that it looks like you all are kind of moving past something or exiting for something or, you know, putting something behind you, we have the Five of Pentacles here in reverse. So uh, prior to October, it looks as though um, you really went through a struggle in regards to somebody or a situation. Um, it really was hard for you. It really, it really tested you in, in every regard. Um, you know, and, and it was, like I said, it was a struggle trying to put one foot in front of the other, trying to figure things out. Um, but the five of pentacles in reverse indicates you coming out of this. So this is the end of the struggle, the light at the end of the tunnel, um, starting to get your confidence back, starting to realize that whatever that was, it might not have been for you. Um, I think for, I also got for some of you, um, whatever you wanted to get from that person, you just kind of realized I'm never going to get it, whether it was closure, whether it was an apology or what have you. So you just kind of said, well, I'm not going to get this so I might as well you know just continue moving forward maybe you created your own closure um, maybe you realize hey I don't need to have that in order to take my power back but whatever it is I see you guys kind of moving out of it okay you're really happy with this person I feel like as though this is the person you thought you're gonna marry get engaged to move in together um, you know you knew each other's families you know the whole um, all of that that is kind of how you foresaw stuff being but what they ended up doing was just disappointing you greatly um, they had a emotional um, you know they weren't emotionally mature had intimacy issues um, you know they weren't emotionally available um they just you know were a kid when it came to their emotions so they couldn't really fully commit to you so while everything seemed great um in the inception when it was starting i feel as though as the connection kind of moved along you realized that this person was going to be how they were in that regard and things weren't going to change anytime soon um any additional cards please additional cards yeah this is this is the person that you really kind of was going to be your happiness so um you really had invested a lot into this emotionally i feel and you kind of thought like at the end it was going to be like this really content happy the kids the white picket fence and all of this but they just weren't capable of doing that you might have held on to that for quite a while too but i like that you're kind of letting go of that finally and realizing that you know practically it isn't going to happen and then in october you kind of continue with this pattern with eight of swords so you're really looking you're releasing yourself from this deciding finally once and for all to free yourself from whatever this was to be open moving forward um doing things differently um you know accepting that things change um letting go of any regrets that you may have um and, and also kind of looking at the, what the patterns were in that connection and telling telling yourself that you don't kind of you don't want to repeat that um, you don't want to kind of live in the past you want to move forward you want to do things differently um, so I really think even though this this relationship or this connection didn't work out you really did learn a lot 
from it. I see the Four of Pentacles in reverse, which, you know, you're letting go of this. Before you were holding on to it, it made you feel secure. The idea of it made you feel stable. And then you just kind of realize you really didn't need to do that anymore. The Eight of Pentacles upright indicates to me that you guys are really doing some work in October. Um, you know, really working hard at um, something that you really want and something that you're deserving of. And in order to do that, you're doing a lot of work on yourself. Um, so, you know, um, I feel as though it's, it's, you know, you're realizing flaws that you have within yourselves that you can work on, uh, you're building on your strengths. Um, to me, uh, the, the eight of pentacles in the upright can be like a work in progress kind of deal, how we always work on ourselves. Judgment card in the upright indicates to me eyes wide open, um, having very clear judgment as you decide to move forward, uh, not, not um, seeing what you want to see, but rather seeing what is actually there and working with that. And the ace of wands shows you moving forward, new beginning, very excited about your new journey. Um, you know, being with this new concept you have, this new way of kind of viewing things so you're you're ready to get going with this um there's a sense of urgency about hey let's get on with my new way of being and kind of leave the old ways behind me why is this ten of pentacles here in the upright as capricorns move out of october and in november who's this person what's this energy well the ten of pentacles in the upright for we have the ten of pentacles upright and then the ten of pentacles in the upright is clarifying that additional messages and i'll get to it i just want to see the whole picture oh okay so, so I see as you're, you're moving out of uh, no, October and November, your focus is, is on things that you can count on. Um, Long-term relationship, connection, not romantic, okay? I feel like connections like family that have been there for you, friends that have been there for you, money that has been there for you, so a job that has been there for you, anything that has been stable, anything that you can invest in that you know you can count on and that you're gonna get something back. And that's primarily what you're gonna be investing in because I don't feel like you could count on this person. And I think it's a whole um, way of you guys kind of like rebuilding so to speak um and i do feel as though october going into november um you do have some sort of uh communication with this person or you try to communicate with this person um but this person hasn't changed with the page of wands in reverse you might you might try to talk to them and i feel as though they're going to turn their back on you and not want to like talk to you because they're really immature they're being stubborn about it they're not going to give you that you know um so you realize that they haven't changed at all now i, I don't understand I, I i almost feel as though um it's happenstance that you happen to kind of run into them and have a conversation or something like that but it's really good that you do because i think you fully realize now that you've been working on things that that, that really supports you and people that really support you uh, now that you want to run to this person and have some court of, some sort of um, interaction with them it really drives home that this person has not changed um, they're still immature they're still stubborn they're they're not succeeding in anything they do maybe they had tried to have a relationship and we're all about it in the beginning and then it failed and then they blame it on the other person so really not kind of a, a good character um in that regard but the knight of pentacles i see you going oh okay well i know that now so now i know what i need to ne need to work towards and it's being with somebody that um you know wants to work on love someone that wants to put the work in this person did not want to put the work in they just kind of wanted their their way all the time it was like their way or the highway and um you know work to them was no fun or it ended up being your fault or what have you so it really as you move out of october to november whatever interaction you have with this person makes you realize what you want so your criteria is somebody that's very mature takes things very seriously and it looks like you're going to work towards getting that someone you can partner up with that that wants to work on things wants to build things and isn't kind of you know um erratic unpredictable so to speak um so that's how i see you moving forward so but i think you need to build that that solidity um in order to kind of pursue that so um sometimes uh, i often find a lot of the earth signs if they do they focus on something that's practical they get very grounded and then kind of once they have that under their belt they can move forward in whatever direction they want to so that is what i see for you all if it resonates consider a personal reading just send me an email or a dm and we can certainly set that up make sure you click on the link below um that will have what your love interest is thinking or feeling and in that spread i'll also have something you do not know about them in addition to if they are seeing somebody else or interested in somebody else 
I am uploading my 2022 sun moon readings. Um, check out my 2021 sun moon predictions that are still in my playlist. See if they rang true for you. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, or donate. Otherwise, I'll see you in the Vimeo Capricorns. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.